Alright, this morning we're going to learn about server status in MongoDB, and I'm going to highlight a few items in a server status. One quick uh, note to make, and that is uh, MongoDB provides in-depth documentation on this, so it's not something that I really want to, uh, that I'm going to, I should say, cover in depth because anyone can refer to that if they have questions about specific items. There are a few of them for people who are, I would say, beginners or for people who are DBAs in general, and we all know how important being a DA, DBA is, that, uh, that you should definitely be aware of. So let's go ahead and let's uh, call that operation. So I'm going to first of all connect to uh, the SQL in 6 database. And then I'm going to call db.serverStatus. And it's going to return a fairly large document here. Uh, first thing to note is that you know host, version, process, PID, uptime, uptime millis, uptime estimate, local time, those are pretty standard. Okay, I think most people could take a look at those and be like, oh, okay. But by the way, if you're looking for like a host or another way to get your version, even though it says it up here too, it almost seems redundant, but it's okay. Um, but this is this is another one one of those ways in which you can access that. Okay, uh, we see here locks. So locks is pretty interesting. Kind of shows us the database level locks, right? And we wouldn't expect to see very many locks because we only have uh, one current process um, on this or current loaded on this. That is, and the other one that I find very interesting too as well is memory. Um, again. It's very obvious I've been doing I've done a lot of work in SQL Server because memory is always something to keep in the back of your mind. Granted that memory is is it is true it's becoming less of an issue, um, not because of it's unimportant. It's just a matter of uh, just more and more memory coming out, and so it's it's just not it's not the concern that it used to be. But still, it's something to consider. So this is the the memory yeah document here. So if you want to look at that. Um, that will kind of give you some some information, excuse me, about you know basically the memory that uh, MongoDB is currently using essentially. The other one that I like a lot too as well, which kind of talks to us about um, what's what's happened with uh, MongoDB. This right here, uh, which is op, op counters, I'm sorry. This reports the uh, number of operations that this specific instance of MongoDB um, has completed. So that, that actually is pretty cool. You can see the inserts, the queries, um, the updates, uh, the deletes, uh, the get more, and then the command. So since Mongo, and, and remember it's MongoD, so since MongoD started, uh, this is what's happened. It's, it's really, it's pretty, uh, at least to me, it's a pretty fascinating um, especially the query on here. So that's peculiar. And then finally, the other one that uh, more probably on the level of DBAs will find fascinating is uh, the search document. And um, that's going to tell you the error, uh, assertion errors, I should say, um, that has been produced by the server. Okay. Um, so obviously that's fairly important. Okay. So these are just some uh, fields in MongoDB. I would definitely suggest, if you're curious about other items, uh, take a look at the documentation. MongoDB provides pretty good in-depth documentation. Take a look at that and uh, take a peek. But that's how to get some information. You see, you get some basic information, and then you get to see some, some more in-depth and detailed information.